Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Mannequin Machine, where we'll be learning the ins and outs of working at a mannequin factory. Our task is to last six shifts, but we're going to have to be careful as the factory is not what it seems. And who is this precious little guy over here? I'm guessing we'll find out. Let's begin. Day Zero Meeting So we haven't even started a shift yet. Okay. Here we are. Oh, hello. Well, aren't you a pretty thing? With your lipstick. I'm gonna call you Bertha. Yeah. Alright. Hi, you're Russell, right? I'm just waiting for you. I'm the shift chief, your immediate supervisor. You've been hired as an equipment maintenance engineer, so sign the contract, it's on the table. Thank you, AI shift worker guy. Let's see, let's see what this thing is here. Employment agreement, Arctech, accepts you as an equipment maintenance engineer. The responsibilities of this position include equipment maintenance, diagnostics and timely troubleshooting, ensuring the smooth operation of the conveyor, as well as unloading of materials and fuel for equipment. Implementation of the shift plan for the number of products produced, as well as loading and disposal of defective batches. In case of violation of the conditions of safe operation at the facility, Arctech is not responsible for receiving. Of course, we will sign our life away. Thanks, guy. Actually, what's going on here is a commercial secret, so don't talk too much. Well, I hope I'm being paid handsomely for this, because the contract seems very in favor of the company and not of my health and safety. Oh. Is the prank, right? This is what you, know, you do. I had an important case in another workshop. Yeah. Go ahead yourself. I'll meet you at the end. <laughs> right? Did you set these guys up? Make it look like one of them had fallen out? Is that what you did? All right. We'll close that behind us as well. Just in case. You never know. This is quite a big factory, isn't it? Hmm. Lots of... Lots of open areas. Lots of places where mannequins could jump out at me. Right? Okay. Well, it's the first day at our shift. Well, I don't even know if this is our first day. What do we got here? Caution. Oh, okay. That's where we obviously burn the bad ones. Wow. Yeah. Um, we're making mannequins, well, right? Let's get started. What are we making here? This is the very machine that produces mannequins. That's what you really? have to serve. That's what I have to serve? It's I don't simple. like the sound of that. First, you need to order materials and fuel, uh -huh. which can be done via a computer. Right. Is that this computer over here? Materials and fuel. So, add to freezer. And the material must be brought from the refrigerator and put in the receiver on top of the machine. Go get him. Go get him? What kind of materials are we talking about here? Well, that's the, that says to the freezer, right? Okay. Uh, I'm not liking these... not liking these corners. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. No? Ah, restrict the area. Oh. Ah, we have a passcode. Four digit code, you say? Alright. We will try and find the four digit code. This is the this is the stuff? This is the material? Okay, it's quite a long way to go and get it. I'm not liking these boxes either. I'm not starting to like anything of this job. Am I even getting paid for this shift? I hope so. Right, we're gonna have to keep our eyes open. And then what do you say? Put it at the top of the machine. Really? Quite an arduous task you're asking me to do here. And then there's a second one as well, there's fuel, right? Okay. And then we just pop you in here. Now you're mine. Oh. This is like some kind of weird sentient AI thing, isn't it? This is going to be some... This contraption looks like some kind of sci-fi thingy that would power a 
goddamn spaceship, and we're making mannequins? Good. Now you need to order fuel and go to the warehouse to get it. All right. Getting the fuel. Taking it. This is the way. What have we got here? Hmm. The storage. Another long corridor. This does not fill me with hope. This makes me think that I'm going to be getting chased by a lot of mannequins in the near future. Alright, but we've got our fuel. Oh, so someone's pulling up with one tank. Why can't I just order five tanks and leave them nearby the machine, okay? I understand health and safety. I understand that we have to put the combustible liquids in a safe place, but you could just have a container here with all the petrol safely locked up. Um, I'm taking it, this is the generator, right? When the machine starts working, you need to monitor the quality of the mannequins. They fit into a cart for six people. Okay. Oh, they're coming out of the... Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. It's very Blade Runner 2049-esque. But once again, my question states... We're making mannequins. What the hell is this thing? Are you gonna tell me that, my friend? Am I meant to be checking? Am I meant to be, like, quality assurance checking these things? Because I haven't been. They all look like mannequins. What do you want me to say? The number's not going up. Is, am I meant to be worried about that? That the number's not going up? No. Oh. Okay, we have our mannequins. In a little cart. If so there what? is at least one defective mannequin in the batch, then the entire batch must be destroyed. Why? Take the cart to the heater and burn it. So, are the defective ones the ones that look a bit used? The ones with like the blue? Or are they the normal ones? I, I can't really tell. Okay, well, we saw the Bernie place. It really restricts your view when you're uh, pushing this trolley around, I will say. So, we put you in there. Sorry, mannequins. I have a question. Why do we have to burn all of them? Why can't we take out the ones that are actually good, put them to the side, and then, you know? That would, that would be more, that would make more sense to me. We have to put this back, well I guess we have to put this back in the mannequin drop-off point. Oh. I mean, uh-oh. Okay. We, we kind of glitched out there. The wall shows the quantity of finished products. Your task is to complete the shift plan. But it's not, the actual thing isn't going up. So what does that mean? I'm, I'm guessing, oh no, oh. Fuel's okay, materials are running a bit low. But I guess this is my induction day, right? So I'm hoping that the next batch are gonna be A-OK. -okay. But seriously. Ah, uh, okay, so the ones that look a bit jaded and blue, they're the, they're the defective ones. Where have you gone? All this right. batch is whole. You can send it to the loader. Okay. You're not going to help me out at all? You're not going to show me things? No, you're just going to stand over your clipboard. Hmm. Is this, is this the loader? I guess this is the loader then. So we'll put you in here. No. Put you in there. And away you go, mannequins. To where you're going, nobody knows. This area looks at, I mean, for such a futuristic, sci-fi, techie, event horizon, polarity, whatever the hell that thing is, everything else looks a little bit worn down, you know? Everything looks a little bit like, is this company on the books? I'm guessing they're not. 
All right. So how many do we have to make in our induction day? Well, you did a good job. Just keep an eye on the indicators and filter out effective batches. Okay. Oh, so now, right, so... That's all for today. Okay. I hope you understand everything. Hmm. Come back tomorrow on your first day of work. Good luck. Okay, I, AI shift worker guy. We're done. So, okay, not... All right. So we leave. I'm guessing we're leaving. Hmm. I would have had, a, like, a fade to black there, and then we just start the next shift. So that makes me think now that something's going to happen on our way back. I can hear a little... Hmm. Game's gonna get me paranoid. Can I check the dumpsters? No? Huh? Alright. Yeah, it's this long, winding sort of area towards... Oh. You guys are still okay, right? Why do they have to give them lipstick? Are you trying to make the mannequin sexy? Is that what you're trying to do? I don't know. Bertha's still here, though. That's okay, Bertha. Hey, Bertha. What's the difference between a sex doll and a mannequin? Persistence, Bertha. Persistence. <laughs> Day one. Do not panic. That's never a good sign. That's never a good start to the day. How we doing, Bertha? You have a good night? Hope you did. Our shift guy's not here now. So he's gone. It's just me on my own now. Shift plan. 12 mannequins. Good luck on your first day at work. When you're done, you can go home. 12, eh? Alright. We've got the lay of the land now. Hmm, you guys have mysteriously disappeared. Or you've been placed back where you were meant to be. That door is always going to annoy me. During the daytime, though, so that's good. That's a good thing to note. Right. So I'm guessing we get the materials, we get our fuel... We get this old uh, weird sci-fi bull thing up and running. Let's go to the freezer first. It's quite a long transition towards the components we're trying to get, so unless something happens, I probably will just fade in and fade out to when we get to the things. Just to save on a bit of time. I haven't seen any codes yet, so... We shall see. Here's the stuff. So the mannequins are alive. Okay. Good to know. Put the thing in a container. Not entirely sure what the product is. I played all these games in the past, and I'm thinking it's human flesh. Oh. You're new. What's this? A brief report. Subject number 35, early signs of schizophrenia. On the third day of the test, he began to hear voices in his head. The maximum time to death is 102 hours. Subject number 36, calm behavior, after 48 hours, he panicked, began to suspect he was being watched, tried to hide in the machine. The maximum time to death was 68 hours. Subject number 37. Performed the work properly for four shifts. No deviations were observed. After five days, he stopped working and began to draw illegibly on a piece of cloth. The maximum time to death was 139 hours. Am I subject number 38? Is that what you're telling me here? This is some kind of weird social experiment. Hmm. So, the machine might be making me crazy? Is that what we're saying? A. 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 I? You're defective, then. Were you the guy that dropped the crate? Oh, his, his eyes are following me. 
you you just stay there you stay there I'm watching you and he's gone It's the little squelchy noises. Right, so the mannequins are alive or sentient, or there's people in them. One or the other, I'm guessing. We'll see, we'll find out. But, okay, let's start the shift. Do I have to push anything in it? No, it just starts automatically. Okay. That looks okay. That one looks okay. It's the little noises in the background. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. It's kind of uh, raising the bar of those type of, uh, you know, doing a bit of business around the convenience store, or in this case, the mannequin factory. We've got our batch of six, first of all. Let's take you out, give you the once over. I mean, you're looking all right to me. You're looking like a good batch. Yeah? All right, I can't see any defects. Let's put you in the lift. God knows where you're going. Probably to Target or Primark or something. And away you go. You know where the Japanese store their defective mannequin feet? In bent toe boxes. <laughs> Alright. First batch done. Glorious. We are doing our shift and we are doing it well. We are a happy little worker bee. Give me the mundane tasks. Give me all that. I love it. There we go. I wonder if I can keep that door up. Oh no, I can't because then it keeps them going. How are we doing for our... We're doing not too bad. I think we can hopefully get another six out. Will it be a defective batch? Who knows? Who only knows? I mean, they're all looking good to me so far. Got our next six. Ah, oh, god damn it. We've got a faulty one. Sorry, guys. You're going to the um, incinerator unit. Sorry. I like how the car at the end is like completely clean. No ash, nothing. That's a damn good incinerator. So we're gonna have to get more materials and fuel, I'm guessing, on this next run. We'll see. The first batch was good, the second batch not so much. So by law of averages. Yeah. Okay. Nothing weird's gonna happen, right? Okay, you guys are looking good. You guys are looking mighty fine. Yeah. I mean, you're all in weird poses. But yeah, that looks good for me. Apparently there are multiple endings to this game, so... The likelihood is we will probably get the worst ending. I'm not entirely sure. There we go. Workday done. Right. I'd like to think I'd need to turn off the computer for the massive um, machine there, but apparently not. Okay. It's these walks back that I'm now thinking that things that... We already know that the mannequins are alive. We saw one drop a crate near to us and then scurry off. 
and the other one following us with its eyes. So, oh, do your duty. Hmm. I'm also getting the feeling, though, that this is some kind of weird experiment because I feel like I'm a test subject for some reason. Bertha, I'm not going to lie to you. It was a pretty horrendous shift, but we got through it. As long as you're here, Bertha, to greet me every day, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're just going to be fine. Love you, Bertha. See you tomorrow. Bright and early. Day two, spoiled. Ah. Bertha, what does that mean exactly? That your mannequin brethren will be spoiled? There we go. Give you a little peck on the cheek. Start the day off as we mean to go on. Shift plan. 12 mannequins. Be careful with the freezer. It has become a mess. Check the material before loading. It must be fresh. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, we're... We're loading up people, aren't we? Soylent Green is people. That's what I'm thinking. No one here to say hello to us today? No. Oh. Our friend has moved slightly. Okay, behind the skip. What have you got to say to us today? Notes of the Arctec expedition. The residents of the local village strongly resisted and did not want to tell us where the entrance to the catacombs was. But after the sergeant who accompanied our group threatened them with burning an entire village, the elders decided to show them how to get inside the dungeon. According to reports, there is an abandoned temple under this village, the flooded tunnels of which led to the strangest object I have ever studied. We discovered its radiation a few weeks ago, but getting inside is not so easy. Right. So some kind of weird artifacts. That's what I'm thinking. Some kind of weird artifacts was found under the village of where this factory has been built. We've created this machine. Why would you make mannequins? And what does the actual thing do? And what is the passcode? I believe the passcode will reveal to us a door that means we can go through there. That's what I'm thinking. Right, so how do I check whether this is okay to use? I'm thinking, this, is it the, the sort of straps here? Is this good? I'm assuming this is good. I guess something will happen if it's not otherwise, right? Oh! Oh! Time to sleep! Time to sleep! Time to wake up! Hang on. There's some blood on that now. Does that mean I can't use that? So the mannequins... Okay... Interesting. I'm going to have to order another one. Because that didn't look fresh, right? Is that what we're saying? Because it's got blood on it. There is flesh in there. So that's spoiled. And now it's night time. Surely a supervisor would be here, no? No, apparently I can't order another one, so I'm going to have to pick that one back up. Ah, oh, everyone's here for the party, right? Bertha made a call from upstairs. She said, hey, there's a party going on down here. Everyone's invited. I mean, you put me to sleep. You choked me out, guys. Not on. My, it was my second day on the job. Don't like these holes that are in the gates. But apparently... Someone from the, uh, the fact... Mm, shadows. I've seen shadows. You guys are fine. You guys are alright. You're obviously trying to help me because you're giving me... Yeah, you're giving me like little snippets of information. Talk to... What was that? Hmm. Well... The hell? Oh. Okay. Yeah. We're making people, aren't we? 
we're putting them in the mannequin bodies or something. For what intent or purposes, I don't know. I mean, apart... Well, you got no head. I mean, this is a defective batch already. Not because of the screaming, wailing banshee sounds of that poor creature. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to burn you. What happens if we try and send them, though? Is one of you... you going to talk to me? No? Not talking to me? Now that it's dark, I really don't know where these are going. Let's try... Alright, I'm going to try... I could be... Jeez, I, don't, I really don't know where I'm going here. I'm going to try and send you up. Just see what happens. Just for shits and giggles. This could cost me the day job, but, you know, we'll see. No, it just comes down. So, that's something. But even if I do try to attempt to put a defective batch through, you're still going to come down. So, I'm sorry. I don't know who was squealing in there, but, um... Flame time. Oh, boy. Well, dust... <laughs> oh, dear. Just another day at the old factory, huh? I'm also trying... I'm getting a vibe now. This is like uh, going to be like the Milgram experiment. Where an authoritative person is telling us to do something. Knowing full well that what we're doing is um, not right. But hey-ho, away we go. I mean, that one didn't look like it had a head anyway, so... None of them look like they've got heads now. What's going on? Oh. Everything... Everything's turned off. Leave. Leave. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. I mean, I was kind of choked out by one of the mannequins, so I probably have overstayed my allotted time that I meant to be here. Now I'm seeing things. Now I'm seeing things in the dark. Yeah, the slow build tension is quite good. I, I do like that. I do get a feeling that the mannequins are going to, en masse, try to pulverize me at some point. But we still got Bertha. Bertha's okay. That was a pretty creepy shift, Bertha. Don't tell your friends to choke me out next time, okay? Still love you. Day three, mask. Are we watching the Jim Carrey film, Bertha? Is that what we're doing today? I hope so. I really do. Let's see what day three has in store for us. 18 mannequins. The problems with the machine have been fixed. From now on, do not leave the materials outside the freezer for a long time. Otherwise, they may deteriorate. Well, there was nothing I could do last time because I was in a sleeper hold by one of the mannequins. Now, it seems to me that some of you mannequins are actually okay, and you're trying to give me hints and tips as to what's been going on in this nefarious factory. So I'm going to be looking out for you. I'm going to be looking out to where you are. Gonna check those corners. Are you around here today? No. Where are you? Bertha's friend. Where are you, Bertha's friend? Oh, there's more of you today. Ah, okay. I see. I understand. None of you got any clipboards, though, so I can't read what you're trying to give me. 18 mannequins, you say? All right. Well, let's order them. Why do you seem to be, like, running away? Hmm. The eyes follow me? No, it was just the one in the tunnel. Okay. Right. Yeah, definitely checking these corners now. Ah, 
There you are, Bertha's friend. The results of the autopsy. After examining the insides of the subject, it was found that the epithelium had changed its structure and looked like plastic, but the subcontinuous fat had not changed. The muscle fibers became petrified and became very dry and sedentary. The internal organs of the study object are similar to human ones and are located in the same places. However, the disease that the patient had before the test, liver cancer, is safely absent, which indicates a cure or replacement of the organ. In addition, the amount of body fluids is reduced by 40% relative to a healthy human body. Oh no. So, are we saying... ...that we're weirdly trying to help people with... ...diseases? And that... ...we put them in mannequins to cure them of a disease, but they are basically a mannequin. Is, am I reading that right? Don't know. There was a mannequin down there. The lights have gone off. Oh! Don't take it off while he's around or something? Okay. Freeze when he's near. Right? When who's near? So they are trying to help me out, I think. That's what I'm thinking. So he's right. Some of the mannequins are basic. They want me to continue doing this? Or do they want me to find out the uh, what's going on? We've got to freeze when he's near. Whoever he is. Well. 16 mannequins. Let's get a going. Now I'm just perpetually looking around. Does that mean someone's stalking in the game? Oh, I hear whispering. The screen's going fuzzy. I'm freezing. Am I okay to take the mask off? I'm waiting for the glitching to stop first. I didn't see anything. Oh, it's a defective batch. God damn it. Yeah, I have a feeling they're going to try and make me empathize with the mannequins and that by burning them all is basically we're burning people. But... I actually refer back to what I was saying earlier. Why would you need to burn all of them? Take the, the right ones out. Put the defective ones in the burnt furnace, right? Is that what we're saying? Apparently not. Okay. So now we have to try and get a shift done. When we hear the whispers, then it's like, oh. When we hear the whispers, we have to freeze. We have to put the ma mask on. We have to act like one of the mannequins. Unless we're already one of the mannequins. Ah. I'm supposing as well that one of these shifts is going to be at night, without the lights, got my flash... Oh. He's back. I can't see anyone. Can't see anything. But I'm not moving. Just gonna wait for the glitching to stop. And then we're gonna be on our merry way. I don't know if it's more unnerving that we don't actually see him. Or if we do see him. I'm assuming... Oh, but another goddamn defective batch again. Nice. I wonder if it's random as well. Because if that's the case... This could be a long game. This could be a long playthrough. 
It looks to me like this is a good batch. Unfortunately, the guy's turned up again. I do like the mechanic of using the mask, but if this is the third shift and we have to do this for three more shifts and we have to get like 16 mannequins at a time or something, then this is going to be quite a long game. All right, here's my here's my theory so far with the law that we know. If you're if you have a terminal illness, let's say, and this company comes to you and says, right, sign your deeds, your life away. We will preserve you. We will make you immortal. But you will be forever in a mannequin. And then they're just like... Said to these guys... Or maybe they've lied to them. Maybe they said like, yeah. Here's the cure for cancer kind of thing. Give us 10,000 pounds... And it looks like another good batch, so that's good to know. And they've just lied to all these people. And I'm burning the defective ones. Hmm. Hey, I put you away. Go in there. One more good batch is all we need and we're done. Or was it 18? I can't remember. 18 or 16? And that is my shift done for the day. Time to boogie woogie. Yeah, the whole mask thing. Hmm. I like that there's something fresh. Every shift has something fresh to it. And I'm wondering what the next one will be. Um. But when you have to do, like, 16 mannequins at a time, and you never know if one's going to be a bad batch, there is a level of repetitiveness um, that kind of starts to show. So I'm kind of hoping... We're going to go for the fourth shift, and I'm going to hope there's something new. Bertha, I am now one of you with my mannequin mask. Love you, dearie. Day four, legend. Am I the legend, Bertha? Or is there a legend of this place that we need to find out? Shift plan 18 mannequins. They'll take you away, they'll take you away, they'll take you away. Um... Okay. Is this me? Do I still have my mask? I still have my mask. Does that mean that the shift worker guy has gone a bit loco? Or have I gone a bit loco? Don't know. I'm guessing we'll find out. We need to find Bertha's friend with a little clipboard. Uh, I knew you'd be around. Hang on. What the hell is that? Uh, we'll read you first. A scrap of a note. I don't remember how many days I've been working here. It feels like several months. I see strange things and more and more often mannequins move and look at me. Someone sometimes talks to me and strange sounds like a heartbeat come from the car. If it's alive, it's definitely trying to drive me crazy. That's why I'm writing these notes, reminding myself that I'm not crazy yet. Anyway... I have to keep working. Do we though? Do we have to keep working? Do I? I don't want to stand on that. I don't think I want to stand on that at all. So they're praising a godlike entity? What is going on? Oh no, there's more of them. And we have a man with a skull. Alright, we're just going to ignore you. As much as we can. I feel like I'm slightly going crazy. We'll go to the freezer first. More mannequins are popping up as well. There's going to be one peeking around that corner, isn't there? Yeah. Still don't know the code yet. Ah, oh, God, another one. Oh, 
That was Trixie. That was Trixie of you. Right. So this time... I really don't want to walk on those things. Um, so he's right. He is like their god. That's what I'm perceiving of this. So when we see him, we have to get that mask up quickly quick. That's what I'm thinking. Is now making himself visible to us. With the other mannequins, it's kind of hard to see which one he is. I'm going to have to check all my corners. I have to make sure he's not just... That was quite fair. He did give us... It did give us a little bit of time after the caped, cloaked figure had fallen away. Did have a few moments to put the mask on, so... I think they're quite fair with that. i just got to make sure I don't now become numb to the fact that there's all these mannequins around. Interesting. Okay. And you have this one as well. Okay. So he might pop up and he might just also whisper sweet nothings in my ear. Is it me or are these walls getting like greener, more mossy than they usually were? Or is it just me? It could just be me. Right, we're going to have a good shift today, guys. You've all come around to give me support. I love it. I like it. We're making more of you. I think that's a good thing. I'm not sure. Don't really know what's going on. Apparently, the village that this factory was built on had some kind of Indian burial ground underneath it. We've awoken some kind of weird, sinister entity. One of you has taken control of it, perhaps? Don't know. Let's the first batch be the best batch. I'm not entirely sure if it's the whispering that you have to look out for or the glitching, but I'm just waiting for the glitching. Oh, this looks like a good batch. This looks like a good batch. Oh, what? Come on. What's wrong with those? Uh. I'm not going to lie. This shift has become very tedious. Um, out of the, what, four batches that we've done so far, only one has been good. We only have to get 12 in this shift, but um, it is becoming quite monotonous, I will be honest. Um, even now with the, the legend turning up and hiding behind the mask. Uh, like there. It like, seems to happen <laughs> about every four minutes. Now I have to get more fuel because the fuel's about to run out. And then I'm going to have to get more materials because the materials are going to run out. Hey Zeus. Yeah, it just kind of feels like padding. Um, I don't know how the batches are done. If it's done randomly or if this is the epitome of the ultimate monotony of a repetitive task. But, um... Yeah, this is this is really starting to grind now. I just want this next one because I, I want I want to finish this. I do want to finish this. It's got an interesting concept. I don't know if this has just become a bit too repetitive now. But I've been playing this game for like an hour and twenty minutes. Oh, I thought it was 12 we had to do. Is it more? Of course it's more. It's always more. The cycle never stops. You've got to be a good batch. Come on. You have to be the good batch. 
You look like a good batch. I'm taking you to it. That's got to be it, right? That's got to be the end of the shift. Please let that be the end of the shift. That, that one was a slog. I'm not going to lie. That was a slog. Oh, praise be. Let's get the hell out of here. Give Bertha a little peck on the cheek. Make sure this guy doesn't turn up. Yep. Bertha, you could have warned me. That's all I'm saying. You could have warned me about the guy. He's there. Turning up when he pleases. i got to put on my mask. Not your fault, though. I'm not blaming you. I'll never blame you, Bertha. Bye. Day 5. Victim. Oh, and we seem to be working at night. Because why wouldn't we be? Shift plan. 24 mannequins. Are you serious? 24. I have heard a lot about... Uh, I couldn't read it. I had to get my mask on. Because now he's apparently attacking me. I'll read it back when I edit. But I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to get to 24. That's just... With batches that possibly go bad, having to reignite the... Oi! 24. This feels like it's become more of an endurance test now, rather than anything else. Um, I initially liked the concept... Oh, what does that mean? Are you just slowly walking towards me all the time? Or when I put my mask on? Oh, God. Right, so when I put my mask on, you're going to be walking towards me. I get it. So every time he... Oh, what? So I just have to make sure you're very far away from me. And I'm hoping there's just one of you. That's what we're saying, right? 24 mannequins? Where's our friend with the clipboard? Okay, not round there. Well... Starting another shift. So now the bloody mannequin is going to start walking towards me. Is that what we're saying? I think we would have quit this job by now. I don't think we'd ever be coming back. So the bloody mannequin is going to pop up somewhere in our travels. As she's slowly making her way towards us. We're just going to have to try and Johnny Lightfoot this. And get the 24 mannequins as soon as we can. Oh boy. Something tells me I'm not going to be making it past shift 5. There she is. <laughs> so while that's going on, I'm going to have to come around here, aren't I? And I'm going to have to move her away from... If she stays around there, then everything's peachy. i just got to hope that these batches are good. I mean, they look good to me. Not the place I wanted to be. Go away for the glitch. Go away for the glitch. Hi. Hi there.
It was a good batch though, so I'm hoping that in this shift there'll be nothing but good batches. Oh, you're peeking around the corner there. Oh no, that's not the best place to be. I don't know if my tactic is actually working or if it's just complete hogwash, but um, I'm gonna try it. Yep, yeah, they all look good to me. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Come on. Let's put these things in the cage. Yeah. But now we need to get some more product and some more fuel. Oh, this is new. So what does that mean? What does the body mean? What am I meant to do with this? A body was in the truck, so what? Am I meant to feed that into the machine? Can I drop you? I can drop you. Right, let's get the fuel. What do I do with the body? What does, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Done for the day. Am I meant to take this body back with me? I'm not entirely sure. I will. But I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing with it. Do I burn the body? Maybe I should burn the body. I'm gonna burn the body. Yeah. That seems like the respectful thing to do. Maybe I should have been paying attention to the... Well, the... No, the body's still there. Interesting. Okay. Um, right. I'm taking the body back with me. I'm going to give it to Bertha. You can stay where you are. I haven't found anyone with a clipboard this shift. Nope. Yeah, thankfully, um, I didn't have any defective batches this time. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? No, no, no clipboards, no law. Um, I guess the law is this dead body. Um, which I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing with. Bertha, could you help me out here? Could you give me some guidance, Bertha? Am I just meant to leave it on the table here? I'll leave it down. In that really nice position there. Head first. Rig mortis is set in. It's all good. Okay, last shift of the day. Let's go. Day six, reborn. Am I going to survive this shift, Bertha? That's all I need to ask. Kiss for luck. Right. 24 mannequins, you did well. You probably lasted longer than anyone else. I'll be sad to say goodbye to you. Yeah, I've got a feeling that this game is not going to have a happy ending. And what am I expecting to see now? The old bloody mannequin wasn't very good. I didn't like that. I think I lured it away so far. I don't know if it was just the game or... Uh, but he stopped showing up. So, me using my mask towards the end didn't seem that bad. But now I'm feeling that I'm lulled into a really false sense of security here. Because I don't see a bloody lady unless she's somewhere down there. Well, let's go pick up our... Oh, there she is. She's down that way. That's fine. She can follow me down this way. I want her further away from the machine as possible. 
Still haven't found any four digits yet for that passcode, and it's my last shift, so I believe I've missed something. I mean, we could just type in whatever, right? Three, three, two, five. No. Yeah, I feel like I've missed something. And I don't think I'm going to be getting the good ending. So if I die on this shift, I die on this shift. Um, yeah. Hello. I saw you. Peeking around. Trying to mess with me in my last shift, are you? You can stay there. Thanks very much. I feel like I'm going to get defective batches on this one. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, uh, there's two of you. I see. That's the thing this time, right? There's two of you. Well, he hasn't tried to attack me yet, so I'm assuming you're going to let me get a batch in first or something, and then you're going to congregate onto me, right? Is that what we're saying? Yeah. I'm going to go over here. Your friend had a longer area to go, I believe. Um, hmm. We do have a little bit of time before he comes to get us, so... If we can move as far away as possible in that time, we should be able to get this done. Ah, defective. God damn it. Well, there you go, guys. That was Mannequin Machine. I didn't survive the last shift. Um, yeah, I like the concept of this game, uh, but on the third or fourth shift, it just got really repetitive. Taking out the mannequins, seeing a defective bunch. I think it was done randomly. I'm not entirely sure. The fifth shift was the slog. Um, I like the fact that you had the kind of bloodied mannequins coming after you. Uh, but in the end, uh, yeah, I just don't think I could have got 24 mannequins there. I, I've been playing this <laughs> for a long time, and um, yeah. Um, yeah, I like the aesthetic, uh, I like the lore, um, I just thought the tasks of... I, I think there should have been something else involved with the mannequins. I don't know, maybe if you were able to take out the defective ones and just load up the, you know, put the good ones to the side and, you know, put the defective ones, that would have been a bit more interesting. It just got a bit repetitive and mundane towards the end, and I'd like to see how it ends. So maybe I will come back to this for the last shift. I just don't have it in me right now. Uh, I obviously missed the keypad numbers somewhere. Maybe it was within the notes, or maybe it was dotted around the warehouse somewhere. I didn't see them. Maybe one of you eagle-eyed viewers has done. Uh, if so, leave in the comments below, and I'll return to this one. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if you haven't already, please sub. Otherwise, the mannequins will be coming to get you. I'll see you in the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.